right, this is going to be a quick video, just a nice little concept that we can get in and out in a few minutes. So you might have noticed when I was doing the basic types that I threw in this little thing called Axis, and I didn't comment on it at the time. Axis is an example of a feature I like to add to my base layers called symbolic constants. They're just lists of things that need to come in a certain order or that just need name like integer names or you know enum names that we can refer to for you know common stuff that our code might want to talk about besides numbers and you know, like strings right so what we're going to do is we're going to really quick just throw in a couple of useful things we already have axis which is how we define the x-axis y-axis z-axis and w-axis the four things that we might use to index the dimensions of our basic types and it'll, it'll come in handy in a lot of other cool geometry related work later uh, we're going to throw in a few more and i'll go over them when they're in so let's let's get this let's get this in there Okay, so like everything with the base layer, I might not have thought of everything we're going to want, but this kind of gives a good example of the sorts of things that I tend to end up wanting for symbolic constants. So we have stuff for doing uh, accessors into my basic compound types, like the axis, as we already talked about. Side will also be useful. Min and max can be used to represent things like left and right, top and bottom. Uh, you know anything that's an interval sort of thing has a min and max and so having sides for that is useful uh then i have you know stuff that i did in my uh context cracking the operating system and the architecture i have given codes to you all of the things that we might detect during that process uh then underneath that just some you know date information kinds of stuff month day of the week uh, that might be useful if we're writing code for managing uh, file times or something like that. Now, one thing we could do to make these a little bit more useful is give some of these some helper functions too. So these will be things that for the these sort of bottom ones here that have useful names give us a enum to string uh, table. That way we can turn these enums into strings to display to the user. Uh, it'll also be nice if we go in and for at least the stuff we can do, be able to get that value back from the context. So for the operating system and the architecture, we can ask, hey, when we did compiler cracking stuff at the very beginning, we or context cracking stuff at the very beginning, we, uh, we, we got ourselves the ability to figure out when, whenever we compile, what operating system, what architecture the context the current context uses so we could make functions that just return the symbolic constants uh, that represent the current context for, to runtime code which could be useful to have in certain places too so let's uh, let's get those helpers in All right, so like I said, this is a pretty quick one. So that's all we're gonna do for that for now. There's obviously a little bit more we could do. Uh, Wednesday is an example of something, or, or rather days of the week and months are examples of things where there's probably more than one string table I would actually wanna supply. I would probably wanna have a string table for the short name and the long name of each, of each, you know, each of those enums. Uh, but again, we're just kind of proving out the organization of this code base. We're not necessarily going to build uh, literally every part the base will ever have. So that gives us a good place where we know we can expand our set of uh, symbolic constants as necessary over time. And that's it. We're done. <laughs>